Welcome to the Simpologists channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to use uh, an Excel supplement uh, called a Solver. It is pre-installed in pretty much uh, every Excel, so you guys probably have it, but don't don't know it. So I'm going to show you how to find Solver inside Excel and how to use it to you to solve a distribution problem kind of logistics distribution using uh, two tiers. So uh, it's a problem where you can uh, deliver product directly from uh, a plant to the customer or from the plant to a cross dock or secondary warehouse and then to the end customer. So I'm going to, to show you how to use a solver to find the ideal solution with uh, minimum logistics costs uh, using uh, these tool inside Excel. So without further ado, let me show you uh, the data for uh, these exercise. So I tried to uh, create a problem similar to the kind of problems that we can find in industry. So first, uh, it's an outbound uh, distribution problem uh, with a two-tier distribution. Uh, the goal is to minimize transportation costs without exceeding plant or cross dock capacity and fully attending customer orders. Uh, in this exercise, there is no possibility of lateral product movement. Uh, in example, uh, uh, movement of products from one plant to another plant or from one customer to the other customer. So there, there are no lateral movements, uh, only uh, movements in a straight line from plant to customer or plant uh, warehouse customer. Uh, the cross docks are not for holding inventory. So they are just for product flow to the end customers. So they will start with uh, zero inventory and they will uh, end the exercise with uh, zero inventory. Uh, this is the design of the product, uh, uh, the problem. So uh, you have uh, two plants, plant one and plant two, and uh, you have here four uh, cross docks, and in here you have five customers and you can send from any plant to any customer and from any warehouse or any cross dock to any customer. So you have a very large uh, number of possible routes for a product to reach the customer. And then you end up with a, a mesh of arrows like this. So each arrow represents a possible route uh, for the, the goods here. And here you have information about the freight costs. So costs from plant to cross docks, plant to customers, and from cross docks to end customers. Okay. Now that we have all the data, I will share uh, the Excel spreadsheet with you. So it's the same data that uh, I had there in that PowerPoint file. I transferred here to my Excel. So uh, the freight prices I called here parameters. So it, these are the same prices that were there. Uh, transport from plant one to customer one, $1.75. Uh, transport from plant one to cross dock one, uh, 50 cents. Transport from cross dock one to customer one, $1.50. And here you have the variables. The variables are the quantities. They are going to be transported in each possible route. So all these uh, red zeros here is a possible route. So you have one route from plant one to customer two, another route for plant two, customer four, uh, from plant one to cross dock two, uh, from cross dock two to customer five, you have 
uh, all the uh, possible routes are in these matrices here. And I put here also the restrictions. So the output of plant one should not be over the capacity of 60,000 units. Output of plant two should not be over the capacity also of 60,000 units. Uh, input for the, the cross docks, each cross dock has its own uh, input capacity, so it will not receive uh, more product than these given capacities here. And customers should receive, or uh, the material input into customers should be exactly the same as their order or their demand. Okay, and here I have a subtotal of uh, the cost of transport from plant to customers. Uh, there is a formula here, so I'm multiplying the prices for the quantities here. It's a sum product function in, in Excel uh, formula. Uh, uh, my Excel, is, as you guys can see, is in Portuguese. Uh, probably your Excel is in English or, or some other language, but the layout's basically the same and uh, the, the formulas uh, are the same. So uh, then I sum all these uh, transport uh, subtotals here. And in this uh, red cell, I have the total transportation cost. So this is my goal, to have the minimum total transportation cost. I don't care about the subtotals, I only care about the total transportation cost, which should be uh, as low as possible, okay? And how do we solve that? How do we use this uh, solver uh, guy? So uh, here in the Excel tabs, you're going to the data tab. In the data tab, you have the solver icon here. If your Excel doesn't have the solver icon, probably you never used solver before, so you don't have it uh, there. Uh, then you can go to file, options, supplements, and install uh, the solver uh, icon in your Excel. So you can search here and uh, uh, ask Excel to, uh, to install that icon to you, okay? So after you have the sober icon here, then it's time to solve our problem. So I'll click on the icon. And the first thing you have to put here is the goal, what you want to achieve. So I'll put my goal here. Okay, this is the goal. This, shell, uh, uh, this cell should be uh, minimum, the value should be minimum. So I choose here, there is maximum, minimum, and a given value. I choose minimum, I don't care uh, how much, but it should be as low as possible. And uh, here I put the variable cells. So which cells the solver can change the value to achieve minimum there. So solver can change all these cells. I use control here. I hold down control and select all these cells, all the red numbers. These are the numbers that solver can change to achieve minimum uh, transportation cost. And in here, I put all the restrictions. So first, the first restriction, uh, plant output should be smaller or equal than plant capacity, okay? Good, number one. Cross dock input should be smaller or equal to cross dock capacity. Okay, another restriction there. Another restriction. Customer 
uh, input of goods or the, the goods that customer receives should be equal their demand not less not more equal to the demand and finally the cross dock input should be equal to the cross dock output as you guys can remember we cannot hold inventory in the cross docks and then I will choose as the method of solution the LP simplex uh, for most uh, logistics or transportation problems the best method of solution is the LP simplex okay and then I click solve so we found a solution all restrictions and conditions were met were satisfied okay then what we found is that um, plant one will send uh, some 18,000 units of material to customer one uh, customer one is also going to receive receive some material from cross dock uh, number three uh, customer two is going to receive all their material from cross docks cross dock one and two customer number three is going to receive all their material from cross dock number four customer number four is going to receive all their material from plant number two and customer number five also going to receive all their material from plant number two. These will give me a total transportation cost of uh, uh, 145,500 dollars. Okay, let me uh, put here a nice format okay much better so now you can see uh, how much we are going to spend in transportation and you can um, check if this is the the best solution um, you can uh, fiddle with the, uh, the numbers a little bit and uh, see if these really is the, the optimal solution. So uh, without changing too much, just to, uh, to see, uh, to show you guys that uh, the solver has, uh, has done uh, what it's supposed to do, without uh, uh, you know, going over the plant capacity, I'm going to change. So I'm going to reduce these in 4,000 units and send 4,000 units from plant one to customer five, okay? So these 12,000 and these 4,000. So customer five is still going to receive the same amount of material, uh, just now a little bit of material from plant one instead of receiving everything from plant two. Let's see the total transportation cost. Okay, it increased a little bit. So it was uh, 145,000 and uh, 500. Now it's 147,500 uh, dollars. So uh, two grand uh, more than uh, we we spent in the in the last uh, uh, in the last solution. So we can see that the solver has done its job. It is finding the ideal solution here with minimum transportation costs. Uh, in the industry, 
the the tricky uh, thing about this uh, or to make this kind of uh, planning work is that sometimes we don't have all the data uh, at hand uh, to build this kind of planning. Otherwise, it's kind of uh, easy. It's very straightforward uh, to do that. If you, in your company or in your work, if you have all this uh, information, all these costs uh, per, uh, you know, uh, leg of the journey, uh, if you have all the quantities, customer orders, capacities, everything, then you can build um, uh, a spreadsheet like this and use Solver every day uh, to make your delivery planning and you are going to save a lot of uh, money using this, okay? So this was the, the tip that I had for, for today. Hope that this uh, will help you guys in your day-to-day -day activities, okay? Please leave your comments and your feedback uh, for us. Uh, we'd love to, to hear from you. Okay, and stay tuned for uh, some other videos like this one. Thank you. Bye.